Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. This week is going to be a shop project. I'm going to be making a small tool tray for my lathe from a piece of scrap countertop. Stick around, we'll get started. My lathe has a 12 inch bed extension that I normally use just to kind of keep the tail stack out of the way to keep from having to pick it down and put it back up. But when it's not in use, I usually just um, slide it around here out of the way. And I thought, that's wasted space when it's not, when it's not used. Um, well, it's a pretty decent size. If you've watched uh, any of my pen videos, you'll usually see that I grab uh, a scrap chunk of um, MDF and have to sit it on my bedways for holding uh, CA and accelerator and gloves and, and micro mesh and, and uh, other little odds and ends for finishing. And I thought it might be neat to make a little tray that kind of fits uh, on that and fits between the, the ways of the ways of the, of the uh, extension, so they kind of kind of fits in place rather than having to use this. Um, scrap of MDF. So I went to my scrap pile and I got really lucky and I found a piece of old scrap, I guess it's actually a desktop, that was just the right size. It'll fit there. So what I'm going to do is take a router, route out some pockets, is, it's quite thick. It's like an inch and an eighth or an uh, inch and three eighths. Um, wrap two pockets, mount a, uh, a runner on the back of it that fits firmly between the, uh, the ways of the uh, bed extension, and uh, I'll have a nice little tray that I can just move out of the way rather than having to uh, stash a piece of scrap MDF. So let me go ahead and Get this over to the bench and I will get my router out with a straight cutting bit and an edge guide and uh, we'll get started cutting this pocket. Okay, so I have laid out some lines about an inch in from the end uh, all the way around that, uh, all the way around the cabinet piece. I've mounted a straight cutting bit in my router um, and set the depth to a little bit more than half of the thickness of this uh, chunk of countertop. So let me um, grab a uh, dust mask and I will uh, get started because unfortunately this MDF is, is just crazy for generating dust. I, uh, let me turn on my overhead uh, air filter and I'll probably drag my um, uh, dust collector hose over here so that I can quickly clean up anything that's, that's going on. So give me just a second I'll get started. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, let me go over to the drill press and I'll get set up to uh, hog out the majority of that, those pockets. Silly me, forgot to film the first half of this, but. Uh, let me go ahead and get the second one dished out to the majority. Later. 
Okay, I've changed out the uh, base on my router to one that is um, large enough to kind of bridge the gap. I'll still have to be a little bit careful right in the very center, but it shouldn't tip down into it if I'm, if I'm careful. Let me go ahead and get my mask on and I'll get started. One hour later. Ah, oh, that was a fun job. So what we'll do now is tape up the um, the formica, mix up some uh, total boat epoxy, which kind of flood this in to kind of seal it, so it's uh, uh, doesn't stain as easily. Okay, let me uh, clean up this mess and I will get back and we'll put some epoxy in it to seal it up. So back in a bit. Okay, I've got it all taped off. I've got a couple of holes that I um, put some tape around. Um, let me mix up some epoxy and I'm going to add some white to it. And uh, I kind of paint it on and see how it... Uh, how much of it sucks in. I may have to come back and do a, a second coat, but we'll see. Five hours later. Okay, I went ahead and poured a second uh, layer on it just to, just to make sure that it's nice and sealed. I, I could potentially pour another layer to make it look completely uniform, but this wasn't about making it look pretty. It was about, you know, keeping the uh, OSB that's in the center of this from flaking up if it ever got wet. So, uh, I took uh, some 220 sandpaper and just kind of ease the edge a little bit so that it's not sharp. Um, that's really all I'm going to do on the top side. So on the back side, I grabbed a, uh, a stick of wood that is about the same width as the ways on my, as the gap between the ways on my bed. So let me go ahead and put this, uh, put this down on it. We got a couple of screws and I countersunk some holes so that it would uh, 
fit down in there. So let's uh, screw the lathe and we'll put it on and see what it looks like. And there you go. Now it's installed, it's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere and uh, should, should prove pretty useful for me. So I'm, I'm pleased. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, next week I should get back to turning. So hopefully I'll see you then. Take care.